Jeep wants me to replace my Gladiator windshield with Gorilla Glass. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive JT. And that's right, I got an email uh, yesterday, I think it was, from Mopar, from Jeep. They want me to replace the windshield on my Jeep Gladiator with Gorilla Glass. So I thought I'd share it with you guys, give you the pricing, both of just standard glass and Gorilla Glass, and then I'd be curious to know if you agree. And if you're gonna run out right away and replace your perfectly fine windshield with Gorilla Glass, so first of all, I got this email. It says, new Jeep bold and rugged windshield replacement. Apparently, Mopar has partnered with Gorilla Glass, the Gorilla Glass people, Corning in other words. And there's a little blurb on here. It says, Corning Gorilla Glass damage control replace slash upgrade today. So apparently, they're trying to convince us to go ahead and replace the windshield to upgrade whether it really needs it or not. Now, it says here, and they ask a question, replacing a cracked windshield or looking to take on even rougher rides. So apparently, if you're gonna take on rougher rides, you really need to replace your windshield, I guess. It says there's Mopar OE, so original equipment glass, and then there's a Mopar windshield made with Corning Gorilla Glass. It's built for more extreme environments, validated with rigorous testing, hopefully better than uh, they did with the Tesla and its glass. You remember what happened there? I'd like to see that test on this glass. Um, and backed by a two-year limited warranty, which I'm gonna go through in a minute as well. Let's see what that two-year limited warranty is. Then they go on to say that it's a jungle out there, so get tough with Gorilla Glass. Gorilla Glass is tougher and more resistant to chips and cracks than standard windshield glass and helps defend against damage from sharp and blunt objects. Eh, it sounds good. Is it a gimmick? I don't know. Now, they say you can go to the dealership and have this done. I would be curious to know if they're outsourcing it to windshield replacement companies or they actually do it there. I'm really not sure. So I went a little further and I went out to uh, Mopar.com and indeed they have a little blurb there, actually a big blurb about Mopar windshield made with Corning Gorilla Glass. They say it's for the bold and the rugged. They say it's to protect your windshield from sharp impact, typically small sharp stone impact, characteristic star or radial cracks, and cracks that extend fully through the outer glass ply, surfaces one and two. Uh, they say it protects against blunt impact, which is typically a small blunt rock or debris impact. Characteristically, a bullseye flaw may see surrounding star crack, and it's a crack on the surface. One of the outer plies may extend to surface two of the outer ply. And then there's something called a biaxial flexure. Sounds kind of medical. Uh, it says larger blunt object like hail or stone, sharp impact on surface one, that'd be the outer surface, I suppose. Long cracks running from a center point, crack is commonly on inner ply surface four, sometimes on outer ply surface two. That sounds like the worst case to me, and the name is fitting, a biaxial flexure. Okay, so what does the warranty say? It says, it's listed, and this is from Mopar.com. It says, Mopar windshield made with Corning Glass, uh, Corning Gorilla Glass warranty. Mopar windshield made with Corning Gorilla Glass has a two year limited, uh, and it's from the date of install, unlimited mile warranty, which provides for labor and parts needed to replace or repair your windshield under certain conditions. Mopar warrants against your windshield from damage associated with road debris such as pebbles or other small objects which may cause initial damage larger than a U.S. quarter, 1 inch or 25 millimeter, uh, and less than 3 inches or, or 7.6 centimeters. Larger instances or smaller blemishes along with the subsequent or subsequent 
uh, cracking that may be caused by not repairing the item are not covered by this warranty. I'm not sure how they determine that. I mean, if you get hit and five minutes later it webs out, I mean, you couldn't possibly get there to get it fixed in between, right? It says dealer requires, uh, dealer requires proof of purchase and windshield will only be repaired or replaced under warranty once within the warranty period. So if you buy this glass, it gets cracked, it gets cracked once, they'll replace it. If it happens again, it's on you. Uh, what is not covered? Damage caused by any other force, such as an accident, makes sense. Large debris, define that. Fraud, not if you lie. Falling objects or other acts of God are not warrantable. The damage from road debris referred to in this section is warrantable, notwithstanding other provisions in the Mopar warranty. Additional exclusions may apply. And then they don't tell you where to find any of that other information, so I don't know. How about the cost? What does this brand new phenomenal earth shattering, the pun intended, glass cost? Well, the cost of a regular windshield is anywhere between 350 and 400 bucks. Depends on what you buy, what you have in the windshield, where you go, all that kind of stuff. Gorilla Glass starts at $793. So it's uh, right about double the cost of regular windshield glass. Uh, and it goes up from there, depending on if you have a camera or a heater in the windshield, you know, other things that might be incorporated into your windshield. So, in essence, you could replace your normal windshield twice for the, the $700 plus dollar price that it would cost you to buy the Corning Gorilla Glass. Now, since they're only going to replace it one time, you pay the $700 and some bucks, or you buy a regular glass twice, which equates to the $700 and oh, less than the $700 and some bucks. So is this really a deal or a gimmick? I don't know. I mean, I can buy two windshields for the price of one Gorilla Glass, which they're only going to replace one time. So that means if it breaks again, I'm paying another $793. It better be pretty darn durable, because if not, this is a losing proposition. I would love to see the testing. I really would love to see the Tesla type, you know, the cyber truck where they threw a bearing at it, a great big steel ball, and see what it does under those conditions. Maybe it's better. I don't know. They're not claiming that it's bulletproof. Anyway, that's the scoop, an email that I got. Apparently, Jeep wants me to replace my Gladiator windshield with Gorilla Glass. I don't know. Would you do it? Is it worth it to you? Have you had any experience with it? I'd be curious to know. Please leave a comment. Also, if you're interested, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive, all about my 2020 Toyota Tacoma. And Rob Motive FST, about my 21 or 2021 Toyota Tundra and my quest for the upcoming redesigned Toyota Tundra. Check them out, and if you're interested, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.